Aloha soul family, Cora Flora here, and today I feel inspired to just make a free-flowing video about healing the inner child, because that's something I've been working on, and even though I love doing card readings, I'm going to be doing, doing them live in Calgary for the next four days, so I'm not super into doing them right now. <laughs> um, so instead, this week, my video is about healing. So it's actually really candid and perfect right now that I'm making this video because I'm staying at an Airbnb at Leth in Lethbridge, Alberta, where there's a sweet young family upstairs and there was just somebody crying. And so you might hear that throughout the video, but um, something interesting happened to me this week that I'm really grateful for. I had a session with my therapist, who's amazing, and she helped me with a process for communicating with my inner child in a way that gives her the love, the validation, the acceptance, and the encouragement that she needs to be happy. And so the technique is to take a piece of paper and which, whichever hand is your um, non-dominant hand, so for me that's my right hand, to put, put a writing instrument into your other hand. And then begin a conversation between your inner child and your present adult self, where in the left hand you write what the child feels and then you respond on the, with the right hand what the adult is responding with. And it seems simple, I mean it is, but it went so deep for me that I remember a few weeks ago I mentioned that in between shows I've been using art therapy to kind of get to my own heart and express my emotions and three times in a row it came out really sad. And finally, this week, after I did that communication and was able to speak to my inner child and tell her how special she is and how loved she is and, and how much I appreciate her and her magic and wisdom, it's like I, I, drew, I drew art after and it was so happy. And since then, my little scribbles that I do, because I often just draw to, to get my feelings out, have been happy and sweet and it really made me notice that even just one page of doing that created a huge difference in my well-being. I've also noticed that in the last few days I've been spending time alone to recharge in between events and I've felt this contentment whereas other times spending time alone I felt a deep loneliness and pain and I really feel this is connected to doing inner child work so that in my moments alone and just being with myself I don't have to feel that aching pain that she's been feeling and instead we could kind of hold hands and play together. So I felt like sharing that with you in case it's valuable for you. And I also feel guided to talk about Louise Hay because um, last night I was just watching videos intuitively, kind of following the trail of inspiration. And I found myself just ravenously watching Louise Hay videos. And one of the things I noticed that, blah, sorry, I'm a little tired right now. One of the things that I really appreciated and noticed was that she was speaking about mirror work, about doing the work of saying, I love and accept you exactly as you are. I really, really love you and saying your own name. But I listened to her explain a little deeper about why it works and why it's so powerful. And she said, it's because it gets to that inner child. And as she was talking, I was kind of like feeling this deeper wisdom flowing in around it where I feel like so many of us in our human experiences get programs in our experiences of growing up that are more reflective of wounded humanity than who we truly are. And when we reparent ourselves and give ourselves that love, that appreciation, that validation, that encouragement that we always wanted, that we know deep down that we deserve, we heal that within ourselves. And then we can expand into more of that heaven on earth in our own experience. And of course, doing that helps with the reflections around us, but isn't it beautiful knowing that we can do that ourselves? So just wanted to share that with you. And I'm happy to say that today I was playing around with designs for merch and I made a whole bunch of fun products of the really cool purple black light image that I did for my album Illumination with Stephanie Pehar. And um, so yeah, so if you want a mug or if you want a uh, pillow or if you want a canvas print of my face, <laughs> It seems so silly, but if you want, if there's people out there, I want to make sure that you can have it. One day I'm going to have my own place rooted somewhere and I'm going to have maybe a piece of, maybe one item with my face. I don't know why it 
it's so funny. I guess it's just kind of like an, an ego thing. Like, <laughs> it would be so funny if I had guests come in and I was like, do you like my art? <laughs> it's my face. Anyways, I might get the wall tapestry. There's a wall tapestry. So I'll leave a link below in case you want to check it out. And um, what else can I say about updates? Oh, so um, the next two months, May and June, I am still on tour with Galaxy Psychic Fairs doing intuitive guidance sessions, empowering you and your greatest potential is the tagline. They're going really well. And I love doing this work. I love just like sitting across from someone and listening to their heart, their soul, their being, and connecting with spirit, guides, angels, to share healing guidance, empowering guidance, supportive guidance for their dreams and intentions. You know, I really feel like in our hearts and souls, we are seated with the inspiration, we are seated with the guidance, we are seated with the support that we need to reach our full potential, and our greatest potential, if you will. So I really want to encourage you in this moment to really honor your heart and honor your soul and honor what you truly desire. And I feel that includes honoring the multidimensional aspects of yourself, including your inner child and really loving them and um, taking care of them. And I've noticed that for me, when I, when I indulge my inner child a little bit, like even today, I watched a children's show for a little bit and I just feel so much happier just doing those little things to take care of the multi-dimensional aspects is really, really, really helpful and really important. So I believe that's all I want to say. I mean, I feel like I could just have a little, little check-in conversation and go on forever here, but um, I should probably go to bed because I'm getting up early tomorrow. So thank you so much, people out there, sending you lots of love, and I wish you the best blessings of heaven on earth that you could possibly conceive and beyond because no matter what human experiences we've had we are divine children of god goddess great love and i believe we're here for a golden age even if that means working through some shit first but i i really feel that it's all absolutely worth it so blessing you on your journey and i hope to see you on the trail